Well, not so long ago, it was considered normal for Americans to like America. Why else would they be here? Imagine that. Now, thinking that gets you denounced as a bigot, a xenophobe, a white nationalist, whatever that is. There's a new view in Washington. It has a simple ethos recently expressed by President Obama's former Attorney General Eric Holder. America was never a great country. There's a lot of talk about America being a leader in, as a democracy, quote unquote, in the 1800s when women and African Americans couldn't vote. What kind of democracy is that? Oh, well, that's exactly right. And that's when I hear these things about let's make America great again. And I think to myself, well, exactly when did you think America um, was great? Does that phrase echo as, as discrimination in your ears? Uh, it takes us back to, I, I think, um, an American past that never in fact really existed, this notion of greatness. John Miller is the host of the White House Brief, and we're happy to have him join us tonight. John, thanks very much for coming on. It's great to be here, Tucker. So, simple question. If you don't like America, why are you running it? I don't know why you're running it. I don't even know why you're here. I mean, if you don't like America, if you don't think America is the greatest country uh, in the world, then you can get the hell out of here and go and let me know how it is in Caracas, where you flip up the switch and the lights don't come on. Here's an alternative. Well, here's, here's, the alternative? You know, here's another country where it's really working well. No one ever says that. Venezuela? So, well, exactly. So, what... What is the impulse? Like, what? Who is made happy by the idea that our country is terrible? Who does that excite? I think it's not meant to excite anyone. I think it's meant to get votes. I mean, that's what they're doing, and it's really cynical because you have someone who is a Trump supporter, or maybe you know actually got wears the "Make America Great Again" hat. I mean, Hillary Clinton says the "Make America Great Again" is a white nationalist slogan, and she never lies. So, I mean, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 but you tell someone your neighbor is a, a, a white nationalist, that starts to be, then you start to say, okay, well, you know, I don't want to be around that person. And it really divides the country. When you think you are living amongst white supremacists and white nationalists and Nazis, uh, it, it's dangerous and it's creating a lot of animosity well, and tearing us apart. it scares the hell out of people. It bothers me intensely. And I, I am white. And I, yeah. I think, <laughs> no, I'm serious. I don't want to. I don't want to, th I mean, it's just, first of all, it's so untrue. Americans are really nice. Right. There's some weirdos out there, but there aren't many. No. You know? and, 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 and it's one of those things where you just wonder, is their political agenda more important to, the well than, to them than the well-being of the country? No, that is, I, I don't think it is. That is nicely put. John Miller, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker.